Ever wished you could travel back in time and experience the wonders of ancient civilizations? Well, in this video, we're going to do just that. We traveled back in time to bring you 16 of the best historical sites in Asia that you absolutely must visit. From grand temples and ancient cities to breathtaking landscapes shaped by human hands, these destinations will leave you awestruck. So grab your passport and let's embark on a journey through history. Let's kick off our journey in Bhaktapur, Nepal, a city that feels frozen in time. As you walk through its narrow cobblestone streets, you'll be surrounded by some of the best preserved medieval architecture in the world. Bhaktapur's Durbar Square is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can explore stunning pagoda-style temples, intricate stone sculptures, and ancient palaces. The city's rich history is evident in every corner, and you'll feel as though you've stepped into a living museum. Don't miss the 55 Window Palace, an architectural masterpiece that once served as the seat of royalty. To fully appreciate the city, visit during one of its vibrant festivals, where the streets come alive with traditional music, dance, and cultural rituals. This is more than just a place to see. Bhaktapur is a place to experience. Next, we head to one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, Varanasi, India. Situated on the banks of the sacred Ganges River, Varanasi is the spiritual heart of Hinduism. Here, life and death converge as pilgrims gather to perform rituals, meditate, and seek blessings. The ghats, or steps leading down to the river, are a hub of activity, especially at dawn when the city comes alive with the sounds of prayer bells and chanting. For a truly unique experience, take a boat ride at sunrise and witness the ethereal sight of the city bathed in golden light. Varanasi isn't just a destination, it's a spiritual journey that will leave you with a deep sense of peace and introspection. Our journey takes us higher into the Himalayas, to the mystical city of Lhasa in Tibet. Known as the Roof of the World, Lhasa is the spiritual center of Tibetan Buddhism. The city is home to the iconic Patala Palace, a towering structure that once served as the winter residence of the Dalai Lama. With its white and red walls rising majestically against the backdrop of snow-capped mountains, the Patala Palace is a sight to behold. Inside, you'll find a treasure trove of Buddhist art, sacred relics, and ancient manuscripts. But Lhasa's spiritual essence extends beyond the palace walls. Visit the Jokang Temple, Tibet's holiest site, where pilgrims from all over the region come to offer prayers. Walking through the Barker Street, a bustling market area that encircles the temple, you'll get a sense of Lhasa's vibrant culture and enduring spirituality. Next, we travel to the heart of Sri Lanka to explore Sigiriya, also known as the Lion Rock. This ancient fortress, perched atop a massive rock column, is one of the country's most iconic landmarks. The story of Sigiriya is steeped in legend and intrigue. It was built by King Kashyapa in the 5th century as a royal palace and fortress. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, renowned for its stunning frescoes, elaborate gardens, and breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. The climb to the top is not for the faint-hearted but the reward is worth every step. As you ascend, you'll pass through the famous Lion's Gate, a pair of colossal lion paws carved into the rock. Once at the summit, you'll be treated to panoramic views that stretch for miles. Sigiriya is not just a testament to ancient engineering, but also a place where history and nature converge in perfect harmony. Heading to Vietnam, we arrive in the historic city of Hue, once the imperial capital of the Nguyen dynasty, Hue is famous for its imperial city, a sprawling complex of palaces, temples, and gardens, surrounded by thick walls and moats. The city is a living testament to Vietnam's royal heritage, and walking through its ancient gates feels like stepping back into a different era. The Imperial Citadel, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the centerpiece of Hue's historical treasures. Here, you can explore the Forbidden Purple City, once the exclusive domain of the emperor and his court. Hue is also known for its elaborate tombs of the Nguyen emperors, each a masterpiece of architecture and landscape design. For a truly immersive experience, visit during the Hue Festival, when the city comes alive with traditional performances, reenactments, and cultural exhibitions. Our journey continues to Ayutthaya, Thailand, a city that was once the dazzling capital of the Kingdom of Siam. Founded in 1350, Ayutthaya was a thriving center of trade and culture until it was destroyed by the Burmese in 1767. Today, the city's ruins stand as a haunting reminder of its glorious past. As you explore the ancient temples and palaces, 
you'll be struck by the scale and beauty of the architecture. Wat Mahathat, with its iconic Buddha head entwined in the roots of a banyan tree, is one of Ayutthaya's most famous sites. Another must-see is Wat Chaiwatanaram, a temple complex with towering prang, or spires, that look stunning at sunset. Ayutthaya's historical park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's best explored by bicycle or boat, giving you a unique perspective on this fascinating city. Back in Nepal, we explore the Kathmandu Valley, a region rich in history, culture, and architectural marvels. The valley is home to three major cities, Kathmandu, Patan, and Bhaktapur, each with its own unique heritage. This area is a treasure trove of ancient temples, palaces, and stupas, many of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. In Kathmandu, visit the Swayamphunath Stupa, also known as the Monkey Temple, where you can enjoy panoramic views of the city. In Patan, explore the stunning Durbar Square, known for its beautiful wood-carved palaces and temples. And in Bhaktapur, as we mentioned earlier, you'll find some of the best preserved medieval architecture in Nepal. The Kathmandu Valley is not just a destination for history lovers. It's also a place where you can experience Nepal's vibrant culture, from its colorful festivals to its traditional arts and crafts. Our next stop takes us to Indonesia, where we'll explore Borobudur, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. This magnificent structure, located on the island of Java, was built in the 9th century and remains one of Southeast Asia's most important cultural landmarks. Borobudur is a masterpiece of Buddhist architecture, featuring nine stacked platforms topped by a central dome, all adorned with over 2,600 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. The temple is surrounded by lush green hills, and visiting at sunrise is nothing short of magical. As the morning mist lifts, revealing the intricate carvings and the serene faces of the Buddha statues, you'll feel a profound sense of peace and reverence. For the best experience, consider joining a guided sunrise tour, which often includes meditation sessions atop the temple. It's not just a place to see, it's a place to feel the spiritual heartbeat of Indonesia. And while you're there, don't miss the nearby Mendut and Pawan temples, which are part of the same Buddhist pilgrimage route. Our journey now takes us to South Korea, to the ancient city of Gyeongju, often referred to as the Museum Without Walls. Once the capital of the Silla Kingdom, Gyeongju is a city steeped in history, where nearly every corner reveals relics from Korea's past. The city is home to numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including Bulguksa Temple, a stunning example of Korean Buddhist architecture, and Seokaram Grotto, where a beautiful stone Buddha gazes serenely out to sea. Gyeongju is also famous for its royal tombs, known as Tumuli, which are grassy mounds that dot the landscape. A visit to the Darungwan Tomb Complex allows you to enter one of these tombs and see the treasures buried with ancient kings. For a truly immersive experience, rent a bike and explore the city's historical sites at your own pace. And if you visit in the spring, don't miss the cherry blossoms that transform Gyeongju into a picturesque wonderland. Next, we travel to the enchanting ruins of Hampi, India, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was once the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire. Hampi is a vast open-air museum filled with hundreds of ancient temples, palaces, and market streets, all set against a backdrop of boulder-strewn hills and lush green fields. The crown jewel of Hampi is the Virupaksha Temple, which has been in continuous worship since the 7th century. As you explore the ruins, you'll be amazed by the intricate carvings that depict scenes from Hindu mythology and the grandiose architecture that speaks to the empire's wealth and power. Don't miss the Vitala Temple Complex, home to the iconic stone chariot and musical pillars that emit different musical notes when tapped. For a breathtaking view, hike up to Matanga Hill at sunrise or sunset, where you can see the entire landscape bathed in golden light. Hampi is more than just ruins, it's a place where history comes alive. Our journey continues in India with one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, the Taj Mahal. This magnificent mausoleum, located in Agra, is not just a symbol of India, but a symbol of love itself. Built by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal, the Taj Mahal is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture, combining elements of Islamic, Persian, and Indian styles. The gleaming white marble, the intricate inlay work of semi-precious stones, and the perfectly symmetrical gardens all contribute to the Taj's ethereal beauty. Visiting at sunrise is a must, as the first rays of sunlight bathe the monument in a soft golden glow. To truly appreciate its grandeur, consider taking a guided tour that delves into the history and symbolism behind every detail. And while in Agra, don't miss the nearby Agra Fort, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can get a distant view of the Taj from its walls. We now travel to Jordan, to the ancient city of Petra, 
often referred to as the Rose City because of the stunning color of the rock from which it is carved. Petra is one of the world's most famous archaeological sites and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As you walk through the SIQ, a narrow gorge that serves as the entrance to Petra, anticipation builds until you finally emerge in front of the iconic treasury. This awe-inspiring facade, carved directly into the cliffs, is just the beginning of what Petra has to offer. The city is vast, with tombs, temples, and a Roman-style theater all carved from the rose-red sandstone. For the adventurous, a hike up to the monastery, another impressive structure perched high in the mountains, offers breathtaking views of the surrounding desert. Petra isn't just a place to visit, it's a place to explore, to discover, and to marvel at the ingenuity of an ancient civilization. Our journey takes us to Japan, where we step into the past in the city of Kyoto. Known for its well-preserved temples, shrines, and traditional wooden houses, Kyoto is a living museum of Japan's cultural heritage. The city is home to over 2,000 temples and shrines, each with its own unique charm. One of the most famous is Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion, which reflects beautifully in the surrounding pond. Another must-visit is Fushimi Inari Shrine, famous for its thousands of red tori gates that create a stunning path up the mountain. Kyoto is also known for its traditional tea houses and gardens, where you can experience the serenity of a Japanese tea ceremony. Whether you're exploring the historic Gion district, known for its geishas, or strolling through the Arashiyama bamboo grove, Kyoto offers a glimpse into a Japan that has largely remained unchanged for centuries. It's a city where tradition and tranquility reign supreme. As we near the end of our journey, we arrive in Bagan, Myanmar, a place where the past feels remarkably present. Bagan is home to over 2,000 ancient temples and pagodas spread across a vast plain by the Ayayarwadi River. The sight of these spires rising from the mist at sunrise is nothing short of magical. Bagan was the capital of the pagan kingdom from the 9th to the 13th century, and it remains one of the richest archaeological sites in Asia. Each temple and pagoda has its own story, and exploring them offers a fascinating insight into Myanmar's history and Buddhist heritage. For the best experience, take a hot air balloon ride at dawn and watch the sun illuminate the temples in a warm, golden light. On the ground, rent an e-bike to navigate the site at your own pace, stopping at the more secluded temples for a moment of quiet reflection. Bagan isn't just a destination, it's a journey through time. Our journey wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Great Wall of China, one of the most iconic structures in the world. Spanning over 13,000 miles, the Great Wall is a marvel of engineering and a symbol of China's rich history. Originally built to protect Chinese states and empires from invasions, the wall has stood the test of time and remains a powerful testament to human determination and ingenuity. As you walk along its ancient stones, you can almost hear the echoes of history, of soldiers standing guard, of traders on the Silk Road, of emperors seeking to unify their lands. The most popular sections to visit are near Beijing, such as Badaling and Mutianyu, both of which offer restored paths and stunning views of the surrounding mountains. For those seeking a more adventurous experience, consider hiking the wilder, less restored sections like Jinshanling or Simitai, where the wall winds through rugged terrain and offers a glimpse into its original form. No matter which part you visit, the Great Wall offers not just a journey through China's past, but also breathtaking natural beauty. And finally, we arrive at our number one historical site in Asia, Angkor Wat in Cambodia. This massive temple complex, the largest religious monument in the world, is not only a symbol of Cambodia but also a masterpiece of Khmer architecture. Built in the early 12th century by King Surya Varman II, Angkor Wat was originally dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu before becoming a Buddhist temple. Its grandeur is matched only by its intricate details. Every inch of stone is adorned with carvings that depict scenes from Hindu mythology, including the famous churning of the ocean of milk. Visiting Angkor Wat at sunrise is an unforgettable experience, as the temple's iconic towers are silhouetted against the dawn sky, reflected perfectly in the surrounding moat. To avoid the crowds, explore some of the lesser-known temples within the Angkor complex, like Ta Prom, where massive tree roots intertwine with ancient stone, or Bayon, known for its enigmatic smiling faces. Angkor Wat isn't just a place to visit, it's a place to connect with the spiritual and cultural legacy of the Khmer Empire, a place where history truly comes alive. Asia is a continent where the past coexists with the present, where every stone tells a story and every monument holds a piece of history. From the majestic walls of the Great Wall of China to the sacred halls of Angkor Wat, these historical sites offer not just a glimpse into ancient civilizations, but also an opportunity to reflect on the legacies that have shaped our world. 
Whether you're a history buff, an adventurer, or simply a traveler seeking to connect with the past, these destinations are sure to leave an indelible mark on your soul. We traveled back in time, and now it's your turn. Which of these incredible sites will you explore first? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe, Bob Scryer. Fun for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy.